Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Brothers and sisters, I want to ask you a question. What is so great about la ilaha illallah? That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Inna Allah harrama ala nari man qala la ilaha illallah. Yabtaghi bi thalika wajha Allah. The Prophet said, Allah has made it haram upon the hellfire to take in anyone that says la ilaha illallah. But it's not just merely saying it that will save you from the hellfire. يَبْتَغِي بِذَلِكَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ And in saying it, he's intending the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's sincere when he says it. He really means it when he says it. What is so great about this word? Such that when Musa alayhi salam, he said to Allah, he said, رَبِّ عَلِّمْنِي شَيْئًا أَذْكُرُكَ وَأَدْعُوكَ بِهِ He said, Allah, my Lord, teach me something so that I can remember you with it and I can make dua to you with it. And Allah said, قُلْ يَا مُوسَى Say, O Musa, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهِ And Musa responded and said, يَا رَبِّ كُلُّ عِبَادِكَ يَقُولُونَ هَذَا Allah, all of your servants, they say this. Every single one of your servants, they say this. He's, he's, what he's saying is, I want something exclusive for me. Everyone says, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهِ I want something that's, something that's a bit extra, a bit extra special. And Allah responded and he said, يَا مُوسَى لَوْ أَنَّا if only, if Allah said, the seven heavens and the seven earths were in one scale, one end of the scale, because you know, a scale it has two ends, they're on one end of the scale. وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فِي كفة. And لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ was on another end of the scale. مَا لَتْ بِهِنَّ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Way heavier and outweigh the seven heavens and the seven earths. What is it about this statement that's so powerful? Such that is heavier than all of the, the seven heavens and the seven earths put together. You see, if I ask you that question and you don't know the answer, then that's a problem. Because one of the conditions of La ilaha illallah is that you have knowledge of it. As Allah commanded us in the Quran, Fa'lim, have knowledge. It was a command. And Al Command, Taqtadil Wujub, it indicates that this is an obligation as its default position. And the command was Fa'lim, know Annahu la ilaha illallah. Have knowledge that there is none worthy to be worshipped in truth except for Allah. Have knowledge of La ilaha illallah. This is the foundation of our religion, brothers and sisters. If we don't know what La ilaha illallah means, we don't know why why it's so valuable, why it's so great, then it's not going to benefit us. The hypocrites, they came and they said, the shahada, ashhadu annaka la rasulullah. They would testify and bear witness in Allah and the Prophet ﷺ being the messenger of Allah. Like Allah said, Allah knows that they are, they are liars. So merely saying it didn't benefit them. You have to have knowledge of what it means. You need to know its conditions. You need to know its pillars. Brothers and sisters, that's why I've started, I'm starting a class tomorrow, Wednesday, this week, in Acton, West London, inshallah ta'ala. We're going to be studying La ilaha illallah. There is nothing more important than this for you and me to study. Wallahi, this is our religion, our deen. And if a person says La ilaha illallah, and he doesn't know what it means. Then what difference is there between you and a parrot who said La ilaha illallah? There's a story that's told of a man, a sheikh who had a parrot. And because the sheikh would always teach La ilaha illallah to his students, the parrot started to say La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. Until one day the parrot, he died. And when he died, the sheikh started to cry profusely. And the students were kind of confused because, I mean, you shouldn't, Wail over a human being dying Let alone a parrot And the sheikh said I'm not crying Because I'm upset that the parrot is dead He said I'm crying because I'm worried that I might be like the parrot In the sense that the parrot said La ilaha illallah all day all night But it was just on his tongue It wasn't in his heart Because he didn't know what he was saying So he said well, I'm scared that I'm just saying La ilaha illallah on my tongue and when I die, I'm going to be like this parrot. That it's not going to be something that resonates and settles in my heart. So we don't want to be like the parrot who just said La ilaha illallah because we heard it. 
We want La ilaha illallah to be in our heart and spread through our bones and our limbs and pump through every bit of our body. How can we do that if we don't know it? So I implore you by Allah, I beg you, I urge you to take this very seriously. And if you're free and you're in London, please attend this class. It will probably just be three to four weeks every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. inshallah ta'ala for about an hour and a half. And we will hopefully inshallah ta'ala gain a good understanding of what la ilaha illallah means. So I hope to see you there and I ask you please share this video in all your WhatsApp groups. Share it online. Get the message to the people. La ilaha illallah is the most important thing for us to study. Wallahi, there is nothing more important than this. There is nothing. And the sad reality is that we as Muslims, we know more about our religion in terms of the sub-branches than we do about the foundation of the foundation, which is la ilaha illallah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika shadun la ilaha illa ant illa la ilaha illa ant astaghfiru wa atubu Oh sorry, yeah, the address and the, all, the, all the details for the class are below. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum.